Dinner tonight is potato soup with broccoli. Now, many potato soups have a cream base. We are gonna create a really creamy texture by using cheese and chicken or vegetable stock. And you won't believe how easy this is. So first of all, you need potatoes. I have two skinned potatoes and they're cubed. Put them right in the blender. Here is two cups of vegetable stock. You can use chicken stock, you can make your own stock. Stock is super mineral rich. It's a girl's best friend, no lie. I highly recommend cooking with it. When you boil rice, you can use it. Two cups stock. Now, here comes the cheese. You want the stock to be warm. You want something to be warm because you want the cheese to really melt and become part of things. If it's cold, if you just took everything out of the fridge, the cheese is gonna stay really grainy and you don't really want that texture. I also have water standing by. It's warm water in case I wanna make the soup less thick. So here I go, back to the blender. Click it in there and here I go. On low, I start low and then I increase whenever I need it. Starts to get thicker. You really don't want any potato chunks in there. You want it to be really smooth and creamy. So give it some time. Again, you don't need a high power blender for this. And I start to see that it's all really uniform. It's a good sign. All right, it's looking good. Potatoes get a, a bad rap for being quote unquote fattening, but they're actually really high in vitamin C and potassium. They're not bad for you. And very few people are allergic to potatoes, which is such a relief. It goes well with things and it can sort of imitate gluten and wheat and you don't have to have that with this. So here I have this beautiful bowl of potato soup. Now the broccoli comes in and this is where it's unique. A lot of times the broccoli is pureed with the soup, a lot of times the broccoli is steamed. I want you to have raw food at every meal, just so you have enzymes. When you have raw food, you basically have these healthy probiotics every time you're eating something, and it does help you with digestion. So I take a few florets of broccoli. I try to get a cup of broccoli in here, and I use the broccoli like a cracker, literally. And I just dunk it in, I let the broccoli melt and get warm, and even feel like it's steamed in that soup and it turns into an amazing meal. And you know how you always go back for more and more crackers? Go back for more and more broccoli. Again, broccoli I think is a superfood. It builds you, it creates a stronger, better you. And that's the point. Plus it's super yummy in this soup. So it looks so good, it's super hearty, it's great on a cold winter's night. To finish off, season with pepper. To your liking, I like a lot of pepper. Pepper adds a lot of flavor without any calories or anything really detrimental to your body, which is really nice. It also helps your circulation. Now, when you look back on your whole day, you started off with the breakfast taco. Really nice zinc levels, protein. Again, no gluten in that meal. Such a good way to start your day. Then you had the cucumber orzo salad. Really hearty, lots of hydration, plenty of protein with the pine nuts. Then the beet chips as a nice snack idea. Mineral rich, iron rich, lots of phosphorus, so good. Then you finish off with the potato and broccoli soup. It's a really healthy way to eat. It's really great to step back and see your day like this. So instead of saying, I'm gluten-free or I eat only protein and no carbs, instead think what's livable, what creates a really happy life and a sustainable life. You wanna always enjoy your food, but you want it to really feed you.